similar to the definition for the absolute value of real numbers, and the absolute value of real numbers, how far that number is from zero, the uh, absolute value of a complex number is how far that complex number is on the complex plane from the origin. So if I look at the number 6 minus 4i, on the complex plane, that has a location at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the real numbers, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the number right here. That's the number 6, 6 plus 4i. And the absolute value of that number is how far that number is from the origin. So this line rep represents the distance, the length of this line represents the absolute value of this function. Now, if I think about it, this is just the right triangle, right? So I've got, um, here's one of my legs, there's my right angle, here's another leg. And the length of these sides is, this is four units long, and this is six units long. And the absolute value is just the length of this hypotenuse right here, right? So if I was solving for this hypotenuse, uh, I could call it x. I could say, for example, that 6 squared plus, um, and I, I could say negative 4 squared, but when I square it, I'm gonna, the length of that side is just 4. 6 squared plus 4 squared uh, equals the hypotenuse squared. I'll, I'll call it I'll call it x in this case. So I've got uh, 6 squared is 36 plus 16 is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Uh, if I add those together, that's uh, 40, 52. I know I'm embarrassed. I'm, multi I'm adding two numbers here. Carry that. 3, 4. Yeah, that's 52. So x, so 52 is x squared. Now, if I'm solving this equation, of course, there's there's two roots that pop up, right? Um, x, x's are those things that are plus or minus root 52. In this case, the you know the length of that hypotenuse could never be negative root 52, so the answer um, so I would only consider the positive right. So x equals root 52, and I could simplify that a bit more. Um, 52 is equal to 2 times 26. Um, 52. 26 is 2 times 13, so it's 2, 2, 13. So you can see here I've got a perfect square of 4 hidden in the number 52. So I, I could write this as the absolute value here, uh, x is um, 2 root 13. So the answer is, what's the absolute value of this number? It is 2 times the square root of 13. Yes, that is a real number. Um, definitely it's irrational, right, root 13, but it's not a, a complex or imaginary number, it's purely real. And that's the thing you'll see, always absolute value of a complex number is going to be um, a real number.